Hello YouTubians, welcome back to another Dot Spicer 10 YouTube video and today I, uh, you probably can spot what's different um, If you can't then I'll point out the obvious for you So here we have the wall um, Which I'm still working on So yeah, I've been struggling to draw the hexagons So what I did The base of the 9th and 10th Doctor's TARDIS console um, basically I took the set down just to get to the floor so I can draw the floor out onto another piece of cardboard which the template is in the other room, hold on so basically I used the floor of that and traced it onto another piece of cardboard and uh, cut it out for a test roundel and it went pretty brilliantly um, by the way, sorry about the mess also, Merry Christmas. So basically, oh, there we go. So basically, then I draw them onto here. And then, of course, I basically did a bit of jiggly pokery to get these, like, four inches. No, stupid me. Uh, four centimetres, I think. Um, something like that. Down there, like so. And then I draw a mug round, and then I use a scalpel or something to like s cut the circles out, which was a very treacherous task, but I did it. Um, these are not the final walls, don't worry. Um, in fact, this is only a test wall. This wall is going to be for over here, so when you walk in, you can... Um, Oh, look at that. Basically, when you walk in, you'll see, like, a bit of wall here. Just so it, you know, blocks it off a little bit. Um, but it's movable, so I'll be able to do it where it'll move around. So, say so if you're having a, a shot where you see me on TikTok doing this, because the monitor's here, the wall will obviously be blocking this out. Or some shots might be blocking this area out. <laughs> Because um, at one point, I'd like to make one big wall to go here and do it in a way where I can move out the way and also get to the drunk kit or the cosplay, anything like that. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's the the little wall there. Um, so, yeah, the certain angle makes it look like it's a full wall. Obviously, it's not going to be as bright as this because that's on the, like so... But yeah, you look at that, you think, whoa. Um, obviously, the roundels are not 3D, um, not yet. But these these are only a test to like how I want them. I did a version of going for the bio doctor method here, where he cut them out, but he cut the hex hexagons out and obviously made them 3D. Whereas me, I'm probably going to do this method but I'm also going to uh, obviously add the disc disc things and like the the plastic thing that goes in front, and obviously put some sort of detailing around here um, as the walls. Um, if not, I'll probably will make them three D. Um, so they are off the wall a tiny bit. Uh, some are brighter than others. Obviously, when this is more forward. The light travels a bit better, but because it's cardboard, it's hard to freestand. Um, when it comes to over here, um, because I'll need to be able to turn this on and these on. Um, hopefully by then I get an extension lead, one of those real ones, and um, have this connected underneath fully, and then have the real um, out plugged like because there's a socket out there that I can plug to and have a console on that way and if I want the main light on I'll have to reach my hand in and turn it on that way and that's what I mean the wall doesn't like to freestand properly um, but yeah it's an absolute bugger to uh, stand up there's a setting in um, on this control unit that I showed in one of my earlier TARDIS build videos um, where you saw like the flash 
of it. Basically, um, if I jump up, so basically, zoom in. So you get um, that. Um, I forgot what the episode's called. Uh, when you first see Captain Jack, uh, it's a two part empty child um, episode in the Doctor Dances. In the episode Doctor Dances, you see the walls um, light up like this, like spotlighting, and this is what the setting reminds me of. So I can't wait to see. Um, the full walls on, and and then you zoom out and you see the whole thing. So yeah, um, nothing on the consoles changed. Um, so this episode is entirely for the wall. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to get some wooden beams to screw the boards to. And they're going to be done in a way that, that they're removable. Um, and then I can move it. And if I want to freestand it, I can. Because um, uh, um, if I need to, um, I could put the walls up in the other room. Uh, my main bedroom. And I have like a little studio thing. Um, if I ever need to move this out of this room. And I need space for the you know, console. Um, I can easily close it off with the wall method, but hopefully that shouldn't happen, but everything's done in a way where it can be transferred across. So yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, yeah. And by the way, if I sound a bit nasally, I got COVID. Woohoo! I'm I'm not I'm I'm not happy about that, but still yeah. Anyways, due, due to COVID, I got bored and started to work on the walls. <laughs> so yeah, I I really want to get the walls, but obviously it means having money, and that's one thing I do not have right now. Um, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a subscribe, and have a good uh, rest of the Christmas. Alonzo Alonzo.